Yeah, Kirby's drill isn't as good as like Fox's drill because uh, it has it has a lot of startup lag and uh, doesn't really leave much anything. So, so yeah, it doesn't really lead to anything usually. Mm -hmm. And it, you can a the ASDI or Smash Dare or whatever out either work and then just get a punish off of it because the landing lag is pretty high. It so. is. But this matchup, I don't really know much about this matchup, like obviously, but like it's a very neutral based matchup, of course. This is what the Mandalore does against low tiers with uh, Zelda, is he just back airs and fares. It's it like, works. Yeah, you can't get in on it. Yeah. Like, what are, you, what are you supposed to do? Yeah, it's it's very frightening to see the, the double the double back airs, double forward airs. The, um, the strong hitbox on it is very strong. You can compare it to Captain Falcon's knee. Yeah. Oh, he's running out of jumps, and he's dead. Yeah, he's out of jumps. I feel like, I don't know, maybe he could have upbeat, I'm not sure. Well, Eric is at 105%, yet to be uh, taken out. Oh, I was thinking we'd rest him, but I forgot that this is Kirby. <laughs> yeah. J Jake isn't really answering to many of the stuff that he's doing. Minus. If he, if he doesn't find an answer, then um, yeah. it's going to look like it's his game. Yeah. I mean, I think Jank played another character after Kirby in the set one, so I expect to see, I think, a Ness, maybe. But um, it's just hard for Kirby, because even if you shield the back air fair pressure, like, I, I played against Mandalord with my Mewtwo earlier, and um, it's just hard, because even if you shield the pressure, like, there's no aerials or stuff that you could do out of shield with low tiers. Like, yeah. that's fast enough and has a good enough hitbox. So, like, he, he can just do it, like, for free if he spaces it well, a lot of the time. Not, not the, there aren't really any low tiers that have good out of shield options. Yeah. I mean... See, he's just sort of abusing his fair and back air. He's probably just going to do too fair, yeah. Back air is probably Kirby's best aerial. Um, yeah. Has a lot of range. Well, uh, it actually lingers for a pretty long time, but that might That's be game. It. Nope. Oh. But he almost gets him with the Wesley Snipe. Oh, yeah, he crouch cancels the forward air. Forward air is pretty successful to crouch canceling because just because of how weak the moves are, hits are. Oh, and that's it. That's game one. So, so Jank is looking for an answer now. He's soul surgeon. I would. I was assuming Jank would go to a different character. Um. Yup, he's going Ness. So um, Jank will be going Ness uh, against uh, Eric Zelda. Hopefully, this is the answer. Um. Jank is a lot faster. So, uh, no, no. Ness is a lot faster than uh, Zelda or Kirby, so that means that uh, Ness can probably just dance around Zelda while yeah. Zelda tries to spam forward air and back air. I don't know. Hitbox-wise, I don't really know that Ness has much that can compete, though. It's the same problem with the, the forward air and the back air. I think Zelda's really good in these uh, matchups, I feel like, because just, you know, you just space him out. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Like, he's doing okay now. He's doing better than he was before. But still, the back air, his back air, Ness's back air still just gets sort of beat by fair and back air from Zelda. So, like, you can't really, like, space that. Like, you could against, like, other low tiers, possibly. Yeah. Um, well, N Ness's hitboxes, although most of them are um, j disjointed, a lot of them have short range. Yeah. Especially his aerials. Um, it's very hard. I mean, he, ha he has, he has like, a good amount of speed to somewhat make up for it, but it's not still not enough. Yeah. That's what makes him so bad. I mean, the longest range wep the weapon the uh, uh, attack he has is forward smash, which forward smash is very uh, very situational, and yeah. nobody really tends to use it because how laggy it is. Uh -huh. Ooh, it's, I hope this, this uh, oh, he taunted. Yeah, he just taunted. Eric doing the eyebrow raise. Look at him, dude. <laughs> dude, he's famous for the eyebrow raise. He's feeling confident. No, he's yeah, he's feeling very confident. You can tell from his play. Oh, that was a close one, and that's it. That's, that's dog it. one. This so it's it's possible that he could do it if he if he gets a nice chain here, a nice string. But he, he, he needs he needs a miracle because in neutral he seems to be getting uh just over and over out neutral. Can he to come down right now? He is, um he's losing because he's losing these uh, the neutral because he's just not being patient. So I, if he were to slow it down a little bit, maybe he has a chance. But then again. Not sure how slow he's willing to go. Yeah. Considering there's four minutes on the clock. And he's down. Yep, and he's and he's down. So he's in a tough spot because he needs to make something happen, but at the same time, if he tries too hard to make something happen, he's just gonna get what just happened there, which mm -hmm. is just ah, uh, that's it. Yeah, that's it. So all right, the two out <laughs> of the two out the Mandalore. Yeah, that was a quick two.